Hello everybody, this is Router9814, and welcome to Star Wars Empire at War, Forces of Corruption. This is the base game, there is no mod here. Uh, we're just going to be playing the original Forces of Corruption that came out on 2006. On 2006? In 2006. And today, as you can probably tell by the outfit I am wearing, uh, I will be playing as the Galactic Empire, and we have Captain Huggy Wuggy back here with us. Uh for another video. He's, he's probably going to be there for, like, forever. I don't, I don't know when it, or if he will ever leave. I love him. So, anyway, without further ado, we're going to get started. So, we're going to play as the Empire, and we're going to try and remove the Rebellion from the galaxy. Now, this is going to be set on easy, because I don't really trust myself with anything higher than easy. Um, it's just, this game is not meant to be, this, this series is not meant to be a challenge. It's just meant to be, to it's just meant to be me playing the game and me doing the thing. So, I think I think it's fair. I think it's fair to say. And we're going to also start with tech level 1, not tech level 2. So, we're going to go ahead and get started without further ado. There we go. <clears throat> Incoming transmission from Darth Vader. During the battles with the Rebellion, we've noticed increased corruption and crime on many worlds. The Emperor does not enjoy hearing that the funds meant for the advancement of his military are going to criminals any more than he likes rebel scum interfering with his rule. Remove the Zahn Consortium and the Rebel and the Rebellion from the galaxy by any means necessary. Use your initial credits wisely to upgrade and expand your forces. So, let's do some pause, and let's do some whoa-ho. Turn on all the things. So, as you can see, this is quite a large galactic map. There are 55 planets on this on this uh, galaxy. This is the biggest map they have in the base game. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So, basically, any of these worlds that have all this, like, smoky crap coming off of them, that, that's controlled by the consortium, the pirate organization. And then anything else would be probably rebel-controlled at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's called equal footing, which I pretty much means, I think, everybody starts with the same amount of planets. So, yeah. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah. Uh, research... Tech theft and black market prices are reduced 15% when the, when, when the mall is controlled, but it allows the Empire to produce TIE Phantom Squadrons. Uh, this area can of uh, space can only be corrupted by conquering it. So, basically, I need to go get Honiger, and I need to go get the mall, I think, is something we need to do. Um, basically, yeah, so we're kind of spread out. We're not spread out, but we're, we're kind of fanned out a lot, so I need to look and see Kashyyyk. What does Kashyyyk do? Um, ground bases are undetectable due to the nat pla planet's natural environment and terrain. Okay. I like that. We're going to try to keep that. Constructing. Um. Oh, also, just right out of the gate, Beginning immediately on Coruscant, build this. Uh, build one of Building these. Build one of these. Build Building one of these. There we go. And then on BIS, also, build one of these. And there we go. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Now, see, this is one of those situations where I'm like, I don't know where I want to defend and where I want to, like, stay here. You know what I mean by that? <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but, but, uh, I mean, what I mean by that is, I don't know, I think Dantooine is probably one. Ground bases are undetectable due to the planet's natural terrain and environment. Um, I mean, that's a good 15% speed boost to MPTL and T4B tanks in the galaxy if it's controlled. Let's make sure we try to keep Building this, started. uh, because I don't trust the Rebellion and I don't want them to try to take it from me. Kessel. Now, Kessel does have a 480 credit value, but the problem with Kessel is it likes to have a Planetary Rebellion, wherein, uh, they literally just don't like me, so, I don't know, um, ugh. I think we're going to wait for the tech upgrade on that one. Alderaan is just a pile of crap in space. That's kind of funny, actually. Now, since Alderaan has a space station, and it's just a pile of crap in space anyway, um, we're going to move Navigating. the Victor's God Destroyer over there. So, yes. All right. So, Iriadu, what do you have? T4B tanks cost 20% less to build. No, we need to keep this. Um, for sure, we need to keep that. Uh, Solus is a capital ship production planet. We need to keep that. Anything that the Rebellion can use against me. Now, Abrogado Ray, ATSCs cost 20% less to build on all planets, so yeah. Uh, need that as well. Early on, we should be good. Early on, we should be okay. We're on easy. It's not like it's gonna be... I shouldn't have anybody coming at me that, that I can't do anything about. 
basically, because everything has a level 2 space station on it, so it's very well defended uh, for this. The only thing that doesn't is Ilum, which... Constructing unit. Build an extra acclimator over there. Now, what do I have on my main fleet? Complete. Okay. No, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Vehicle I think we production. definitely need some of those uh, for, for anti-fighter, but it's... it's a, That's a good start for complete. fleet. Now, what I have to do is I have to Carson decide who I'm going to poke first. I think I am going to poke them all. Let's build a little probe droid on, on Kessel. Unit. And let's see what the reporting. Maw has, basically. Kind of my uh, idea complete. there. Okay, this is done. So now... Unit build some ATSTs and get the land fleet started up. So if you, if you don't know, this is how I um, I usually consider it. If you, you, you can lose some planets, especially early on. Like if the Rebellion were to attack Dantreme with like a huge force... And I would lose this. It's not the end of the world because I have eight and two. And in fact, um, we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna mm, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Building defend started. eight and two, the better better thing there. Um, but basically speaking, everything here can you can lose things, and it's not it's not like the end of the world. You don't need to worry about it. But if if by chance they take something big early on then you need to worry about it. But mainly what I'm trying to do is, if I take the Maw early, then there's no reason for them to try to push forward and, like, corrupt this and try to get to the Maw. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's what we're gonna do. And basically what's happening on the Outer Rim is the the Rebels and the, and the Consortium both start with Outer Rim planets on, like, both Ready sides of the go. map. So, since they start on both sides, they're gonna start fighting with each other. So, it's a good... The Empire's a good place to be. Because... You can kind of just chill, sit back, complete. and kind of relax, and not have to totally worry about what the rebellion is going to whoops, what the rebellion is going to do. Um, so yeah, so let's let's go to the mall. Let's see what they have. Um, oh really? A level two space station, a crusader gunship. I think I could take that. Honestly, they they have one big boy, the vengeance frigate. But, I've got two victories. Two, I can do that. I can take that. We're, we're going to do that. Um, Constructing let's build unit. some acclimator support, shall we? Just in case I were to lose something. Um, I would I would want to have something I could bring in, basically. Ready to go. Sorry, don't mind me looking at my phone. That wasn't me looking at my phone on a YouTube video. I'm a professional. <laughs> So there we go. Um, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, so you have. Yeah, you're good. All right. Let's go. I call, babe. Oh. I only left with one of them. That's fine. It's good to have something above Corazon anyway. Because uh, they can try to gun in and, and do things. So we're not going to do that. Hello. Imminent. Tactical battle imminent. The first battle of the Galactic Empire. Um, or the of the uh, conquest for the Galactic Empire. Ooh. You know, I really do like this. Good okay, idea. so we're going to wait Let's for everybody to get, get out. Let's show these dissidents who rules um, this galaxy. Remove their influence from the system That's interesting. Hey, they only give me one victory to start? I mean, I guess that makes sense that you wouldn't want to put both victories out there. One of the things you can do in this mod that you could not do Enemy in the original game ahead. is you can, um... You can, um... You can, you can put one unit as, like, the, the, the captain of the squad, right? That always hyperspaces in first or, or comes in first on the ground. And then you can bring in reinforcements based around that unit. So what I would usually do, um, is, um... I'd usually get, like, either uh, Thrawn is in this mod, so I'd usually get Admiral Thrawn or uh, Admiral or Captain Piet, whatever you want to call him, and then build a fleet around them to support the their Go starter stars. So, um, yeah. Attacking. Let's go get that, because... Oh. Somebody trying to be sneaky? Oh, no, they're just not going at all. Okay, interesting. They're just running away. I don't know why. 
going to take a while to get up here. Yeah, a lot of fighters. The Empire gets a lot of fighters. That's one of the things that you can use to your advantage in this game, because even the space stations get fighters that the, uh, the Rebellion and Consortium do not. They have to purchase their fighters. Like, they have to purchase all their fighters uh, themselves. They have to actually buy every fighter they own. So, other than if they have a space station. So, it's very interesting to me. We're going to go ahead and play that hangar bay. Because I don't, I don't want you near it. <laughs> How about there was a yellow blob in my, in my map I thought I saw. Alright. Yes, One of the things I need to do. Your order, sir. Standing by. There we go. Cruiser reporting. Gunship reporting. Okay. I fired that. You fired this, but it appears to be shooting at you. And then fighters go in. Bombers go in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the mass drivers are bad because uh, the consortium has a, a weapon called a mass driver that literally just plows through a shield like that, like it just did. Oh God. And, yeah, so that's that's something we need to pay attention to. Um, for sure. Oh, we're losing stuff. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It should be fine. It's fine. I think, uh, oh, we lost our shield, bro. Okay, well, um, that's, that's okay. It's all right. Okay. Shoot it that way. Shoot it. Kill it. Oh my god, look at the amount of crap firing at it. Oh my god. Might as well. And what are they gonna do? Target the turret? Probably. They're pretty stupid that way. Target that proton torpedo launcher. Take out the heavy stuff first. Oh! Mass driver, take that out, please. <laughs> please get rid of that. Because <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my units are getting fucked up because I, there's, there's a mass driver firing at it. Oh my god! I mean, this guy has some balls. The balls on this broadside cruiser is ridiculous. You should not be at the front lines, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, there has to be a oh. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him there. Okay. We are victorious. Good. There we go. First victory, no losses. Good, good, good. Taking care of my, uh, taking care of my empire. Removing corruption. Yeah, so corruption is one of the things that, like, um, it's good to have money. It's, it's uh, very good to have money, um, on all your planets because if you don't, then you will be left kind of in the dark. <laughs> this does not earn a lot of money, does it? Kind of crazy how much, Ready how very little money Biss earns. I mean, I'm gonna keep it because. It's Bith, and that's something that's very important. I think, you know what? Being in the middle of all this, I think it's more important to do the tech upgrade and then do everything else. Construction complete. Because Corson, Corson already gets me 240 a, uh, a week, so, like, that's not that bad. Um, Building let's go build started. out on Corellia. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So we have them all. Beginning I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is so a lot of this is rebellion controlled, which is bad. Uh, <laughs> ah, hello. So the emperor has a little ability that I'm gonna have to show off and use here, um, that he can go to a planet and remove corruption. More than yeah. that. But what, what corruption does is basically it allows them the as the consortium you can get into like a tactical combat situation, uh, either in space or on land. And then, if go. you win Ready that scenario, corruption. you corrupt the planet. And what corruption means you can do is you can you can corruption go in and quite literally removed. just blow up a building. Like, they, they could kill the complete. barracks or the factory or the mining facility and just, just completely just pff, either wreck my economy or wreck my defense and then come in with, a, with an actual force and take the planet. Um, so it's something that you definitely want to keep an eye on and something you definitely want to keep low is the corruption. On worlds, so that's. I think I'm gonna leave that fleet at the mall just for right now, just for the moment, um, because this is about to be built, and then once this is built, 
we do construction complete have it Tech all? Upgrade in process. hey wait did i get a discount on my okay i think i got a discount on my research even though it doesn't say that that, that that's something that oh research tax and okay yeah duh <laughs> so so all research is 15 percent it has a 15 percent discount that is a good thing to keep Ready because if go. I if I have a fifteen percent, that is a huge advantage, uh, honestly. So that's that's something good to keep in mind. Um, how long will level two upgrade take? That shouldn't take too long, but uh, just Building to started. you know, kind of get in there and do some stuff. Uh, we're gonna do that, and then uh, I could I could hit something from here, but I really don't want to just yet. Because one of the things that I, I know I need to do is I need to hit Bothawee. Ooh, but if I hit Bothawee, they're going to go after it. Maybe I hit Korriban. Let's see what's on Korriban. I'm going to do some tactical research before I just barge in blindly. Um, some tactical research, if you will, um, for this. Um, I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna barge in blind if I can sneak in and, and see what's going on. I don't know what he's saying, but it's cool. <laughs> Straight out of the movie, but I have no idea what he's saying. Uh, okay, what do they got? A level 2 space station, nothing in orbit, and then they have T2B tanks and barracks and a factory. That's going to be 15 T2B tanks on the ground. Well, 15 plus until this is destroyed, because this garrison's a T2B tank squad. T2B, T2B tanks come in fives. So there'll be 10 that once I kill, they're dead. Then there'll be five that'll just keep coming back and coming back and coming back until I find the factory and kill it. Um, hmm, That is a tactical planet. What does it do? Repulsor lift. Two in repulsor lift tanks. That's 100 less development on planets. That is a benefit for me. Um, I might have to do that just to keep them away from the maw here. Yeah. But the minute I. You know what? It's not a threat. I know they're not going to be able to do a lot because, I mean, their their tech is probably just as, as far along as mine, if not even less. Um, so, I, I know they're not going to be able to do much, is, is what I'm saying. So, I think we just do what we can to make sure it's fine uh, and to make sure all my planets are defended. This is, this is one of those games that it is going to be probably a little not frustrating to watch, or at least I hope it's not frustrating to watch, but it's just going to be something... That, um, it takes time. It just does. So, uh, we're just gonna have to do it. Um, what do they got on Karida? Because Karida is a pretty big Constructing map. Unit. So, I would imagine they've got quite a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, something else you can do is you can put these, uh, wherever you'd like to put them. Which is actually kind of cool. There you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. No. Okay. I forgot I built one and it kind of scared me. Um. Yeah, I have 31,000 credits. That's crazy. That's insane, bro. Chill out, man. Alright. Um. soldiers. Some stormtroopers. Because why not? Also, there we go. Okay. Oh, Karite is a little more defended. Level 2, 2 Nebulon Bs. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. I mean, the good thing is I'm not... I'm equipped pre pretty well to handle this. 
I don't think it's going to be a problem. I just don't like the idea of going to... I think I'm going to hit Bothawi. I usually go for Bothawi first anyway, just because Bothawi gives me tactical advantages. Uh, it gives me a little ring. I don't know how big the ring is, but a ring of... I can see where the Reporting. enemy moves stuff. Check I can see what they have on all those planets. So I think we're just going to go ahead and... Oh... We're going to go for Bothawi. Because <laughs> I just got General Veers. So, you know. And we're going to go ahead and just get that the order in for that just immediately. And then build some more Victory Star Destroyers. Build some more of those. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, dude. Like, really. Uh, what? Need level 3. This is going to kill a lot of my stuff, but... Um, Building under construction. It'll be worth it in the end. Beginning construction. Building that only started. can have a level three. Uh, Solus. And then we only have a level one, which is actually has a level two. Which is something very cool they do. Um, even though you can only build one Cruiser thing reporting. if that base gets destroyed. But if you can keep that base, uh, that's a level two base for the entire game. Uh, Elam actually starts with a level two space station just because... Uh, it's controlled Reporting. For, by the start. I think that happens for everybody. I think the Empire of the Rebellion and the uh, Consortium, if they ever start with Elam, I think that that is literally a thing. Which is cool, since, you know, you can only build one fucking slot otherwise, so it would be kind of undefended uh, early on. So that's very that's very neat that they do that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not going to worry about doing it on there. Um, Dan to Ween can only have a level 2 anyway. 8 and though. Building under construction. Uh, yeah, yep, okay. And then, yeah, so then it's just a little bit of a problem, but it's fine. Um, Beginning heavy factor on this, yes please. Um, Cruiser online. Construction complete. Construction complete. Yeah, there'll be a little reinforcement. Construction tool. complete. Construction complete. Uh, I'm sending over to the Cruiser construction online. complete. One for Bothell, just because. Um, okay, that's a level three space station. They're they're not gonna get past that easy. Construction complete. Uh, can you just not see the level three space station? What about? <laughs> Huh. Interesting. I don't know why that's a thing, but here we are. There we go. Alright, um, and then... What did I say? Bothery. Confirm. Building started. I actually don't care about Merker, because it's, it's surrounded, as long as it's surrounded by a decent... Okay. Hey, hero. Uh, Captain Antilles is here. Okay. Mm, I don't see him being able to really do much. We'll see. Let's see what else he's got. Because he's got some serious stuff going on. Uh, oh. Transmit orders. We've located sensors are reporting that there is a hostile presence surrounding the planet. Lay waste to any forces that oppose the Empire. Uh-huh. Form up. Alright. What are your orders? We're gonna go over here. I'm actually going to be tactical about this. Like, legitimately actually going to be tactical. I wonder if I can get... Oh, Jesus. I think I'm going out of and just got absolutely blasted. You're going to die now. That was really stupid. Why did he do that? He came in and got absolutely ass-blasted. That was hilarious. What was that? What the fuck was that? That was it. If that is, that is Leroy Jenkins. I need to find, I need to do that. Because, oh my god. That is the definition of Leroy right over there. He's got nothing. If his shield goes down, bro. If his shield goes down, he is fucked. Like, incredibly so. Oh, they actually uh, know where he is. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, Tie Fighters, could you come help me, please? There we go, there we go. Alright. 
Everybody fire at will. <laughs> oh my god. No, this is good though. I like this. Uh, this is he, He's probably gonna die, because I moved him in a little bit closer than I wanted this to move him into, right. but that's fine. Fire at the shield. shield Alright, yeah, we got this. We got this. Ain't no problem. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Or something. <laughs> Okay, well that laser cannon better just got fucked up, so uh not not gonna be able to defend against the uh against that guy. Alright, cool. Very good. Um is there any like these things to do God, God. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> there we go. And we are victorious. Okay, there it is. Boom. Um uh, Really just stood no chance um, of actually doing anything with that. Okay. Alright. So, victory was achieved. Um, I think that we're going to do... We're going to launch the land invasion of Bothui. And we're going to do that. And then, uh, I think we're going to call this an episode. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. I, I'm, I'm going to try to do my best to make it as entertaining as possible. I just don't guarantee it. Um, you know? So... But that is my that is my plan. My plan is to be as entertaining as possible for you guys. So there we go. Uh yes. Enemy fleet approaching. Uh, enemy fleet approaching. Where are Dantween? Okay. Um Tactical battle. We'll see. Oh god. Uh, mm, mm. I don't this is not gonna be a problem. They have one anti-fighter thing that's going to die fucking immediately uh, upon the the meeting of the Acclimator. And then <laughs> uh, those will have a decent advantage because there's eight of them. But as long as we get rid of the bombers, this is not going to be that hard. Okay, this will be the last battle then before we actually do it. So there we go. <laughs> so we'll do this and then end the episode. Not the battle I was looking for, but okay. <laughs> Oh my god, alright, what was he speaking about? They've got quite a lot, they brought a, okay, they brought a lot of it in. Um, so that's not good. Um, but, I don't have a lot of money, we're not gonna do that, actually. And just kind of hope that it's fine. We should move these guys over here. Because they might be going around the there nebula. They are. they are going around the nebula. Let's go. We'll Starting in first. Fire of will. Okay. Uh, where are all my fighters? Fighters, 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 fighters. Break off. Break off and engage. Ah, 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 ah. Break off and engage that. Break off and engage that, please. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. They have so many. Oh my god. They had so many bombers, but they brought it in in range of the broadside. Oh, you idiot. Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was so good. Oh, I love this game sometimes. It's very funny. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you think you got something? You think you got something? You think you got a chance in hell? Well, they have that one Corellian Corvette, which is dead now, so they don't have any anti-fighter support. And... 50% of the bombers they brought in, I think, are dead now, so, um, it's really just a matter of the space station holding out against the Nebula on beat, which, when he has support, is easy to do. <laughs> oh, that's right, so that's not dead yet. All units fire. <laughs> it's dead now. All right, there we go. Now that Corellian Corvette is dead, and they have no chance to help. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's, they, they will attack, and they can be aggressive, um, But they, uh, they don't really do much, uh, once they attack. So, it's just very interesting to me. I think they're trying to get me away from the space station, which it's not gonna work, because... And there's the retreat to hyperspace. Yeah, you better. You better fucking run, bitch! Oh my god, look at the amount of damage being done. That's ridiculously stupid. Oh my god, he almost didn't even make it. He almost didn't even make it! Dude, 
They lost nine Y wings, three Nebulons, three X wings, and a Corellian Corvette. There you go. I mean, that's that's how this works, my friend. That's how unit. this works. We're gonna go ahead and uh, boost canceled. up defense on that just a little bit real quick. All right. So anyway, oh, without further ado, that's gonna do it for the end of this first episode of Star Wars: Empire at War: Forces of Corruption. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And uh, if you'd like to see me do uh, the multiplayer of this game, uh, we have a couple of different mods that uh, me and my friends play. If you'd like to see the multiplayer. Uh, just let me know, and I will all uh, get the guys together, or at least Talking many of the guys the I can. So anyway, uh, without further ado, have a good one, everybody. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye! <laughs>